Um, so I think was it Devin that had the meeting topic idea of doing? That was me. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Um, so how to like work with brands in their fourth quarter. Um, so I think that Devin would probably know a lot about this topic. Also, Lore, I think, Daisy. Um, so I'll kind of let you guys like, I don't know, maybe share what you want. And then also, I'm just going to drop in the chat if you haven't filled out the Google form, if you want to like be paired with someone and like some other questions. Um, I just figured like I was going to pair people today, but I was like, I'll just wait till after the meeting. That way, if anyone forgot, they can get like a last chance reminder. Um, and then also, if everyone can just drop their channels um, in the chat box thing, then I can link you guys. And when I post this, oh, Mackenzie's here. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself and you guys can um, teach me. Okay, really the first thing that I just, hello, that I just wanted to ask was like, just like dropping ideas because I feel like sometimes it won't be until I see other people working with a brand that I'm like, oh, like that would be a good brand to work out with or, or work, work with. I don't know. I just wanted like ideas for who you guys are reaching out to or like, cause I think I know what to say to them. I'm just like, I feel like I'm done like reaching out to certain types of brands. I would hit all your big companies cause they yeah. got so much money right now. I mean, maybe not yeah. right now cause of Ms. Roni, but like, like normally during the fourth quarter, like your big businesses, have like the most money okay Mackenzie Morgan Alpha Phi got it <laughs> it still says that <laughs> Queen you're on mute first I wasn't on mute now I'm on mute we've been <laughs> on zoom since 7 45 this morning and I just got off at seven o'clock tonight so sorry guys <laughs> okay I'm glad nice you're here etiquette. but yeah big big companies Devin I think more. what are the big companies that I need to be reaching out to like who should I don't I know whatever you want <laughs> queen that's what I'm saying I need some names how to spell them everything all right wait let's look okay let's brainstorm so are we thinking fashion are we thinking lifestyle like biggest lifestyle? Christmas gifts like what are we thinking of yeah give me are guys give me a uh, a realm okay I feel like right now my favorite types of brands are fashion but I think fashion would be most difficult for me because I am like very into sustainability and a lot I feel of this. like fashion, I feel that they're just not they're not you know yeah. so I think that the main thing would be like Christmas present ideas like I, I don't know what yeah, I but would you could say. do that with, you could do that with anything so like what would be your like more more so lifestyle I guess. I can't believe this is the meeting that's recording that I've decided to shower before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're fine. Hey guys. And travel. Travel is a big one that I would Okay, say. Devin, here's my mm -hmm. here's my take on okay, I know I'm like the least person that should be talking about sustainability because I'm not the poster child. I'm the poster child for the opposite. Okay. So <laughs> whatever works. One, whatever I'm works. I'm not one to talk, but you need to focus more on ethical than sustainable and as a, i'm saying this from a fashion student standpoint not from my youtube standpoint so keep stop on mckenzie separate from this because she's not the one telling oh, me has left the chat. student mckenzie that's telling me this <laughs> is that no brand will ever fully become sustainable in fact as they start to slow down the chain of fast fashion actually it will become when once everyone slows down it will then speed up naturally like there is no yeah. way physically there is physically no way to slow fashion down to what it was before not if we are consuming clothing and content and the amount of just stuff in general that we are right now so our yeah. attention is always stressed to us focus more on on transparency brands that are transparent is more important than necessarily how fast their production cycle is so I know that that has nothing to do with what you were just saying. No, I understand what you're saying. To, I understand what you're saying because there's brands that like I would love to work with, but they, it's like they drop once and then everything sold out. So then it's like, what is there left to promote? Like, what is there left to advertise? I don't know. I've been, I think fashion is just not something that I should 
bank on, but I think travel is a big one. Don't and bank I did on it, but also don't be afraid to put a few eggs in that basket. But do yeah. keep in mind that out of most like niches to reach out to, like fashion tends to have the smallest budget because there are many people who are willing to work for just clothes. So they won't necessarily pay as much because people are like, oh, sh- I want the shirt. Like, no worries. Yeah. So yeah. keep that in mind. But um, if someone can figure out how to get me on some sort of trip for free, let me know because that's all I want. Well, like, we need to we need to talk about that. We need to talk about that later. <laughs> Devin and I have been doing some hashtag brainstorming, but like, let's finish this topic first okay. and get on to that. Yeah, but wait. I think I can't. <laughs> I think for that, um, I'll I just like drop the thing. So if anyone has like a last minute, like, oops, I forgot. Um, yeah, that's what we were waiting for, Taylor. Well, yeah, and we'll probably also um, just do, like, a separate meeting time to talk about that, just with anyone who is, like, interested that way. It's, mm-hmm. like, if, if people couldn't go or didn't want to, it's not taking away from this time. Yeah. Do you think that that's good? Yeah, whatever you want. Okay. Although, I think I missed whatever you're talking about. <laughs> oh, she's crackling. I'm not registering. <laughs> that's not clicking with me. Yeah, <laughs> we want to go on a trip. So- why is everyone laughing at me? <laughs> because you're like cragging, queen. <laughs> okay, just make sure I'm on the trip list. Okay, we so got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Did you fill out the Google Doc? <laughs> no. I didn't even know there was a Google Doc. Uh, I was like, or, I have too many blog posts to put up right now. It's been, been a really, it's been a really hectic week, okay? <laughs> I feel brain dead right now. <laughs> okay, I just sent it in the chat. chat. Got it, okay. I- um... Devin, a brand for travel that might, um, like, work. I mean, I could see travel right now. It's like, yeah, I don't well, think I reached, out to- I reached out to Kentucky and they said that they would put me in their list. Who's Kentucky? Right. What's that? It's like a group travel company and they go, they just did one to like Jordan and Israel and they're just, it's like EF Ultimate Break. Just <gasps> a different okay, but on a smaller scale. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, how, should, you should reach out to Base. What'd you say? You should reach out to Base, like Shay Mitchell's travel company brand. Interesting. For, um... This is official, it's asking that's me. What, that's what I was going to reach out to this summer, because I was supposed to go to LA for two weeks. Haha, <laughs> TBT to that. Thanks, Miss Rones. You but, um, me. yeah, when I, like, when I, like... Well, when this all clears away and, like, I'm able to actually travel, that's who I'm going to reach out to. Mm. Um, yeah, so if you're into travel, base is a good one. Um, I mean, like, this it's is, like, base, or have, base. Base. Like, it's B, B-E-I-S, I think, or B-I-E-S, one of the two. One of the two. Okay. Um, a company that I reached out to that I was, like, shocked that they answered was Skims. Like, Kim oh. Kardashian's, like, brand, so that's another one that I'm going to talk to for the holidays. I sent some links, two links, um, wellness stuff, because I know that, like, Kristen does a lot of stuff with that as well. Um, I don't know if anyone else is health wellness related. They want to do that. I also sent, in like, 2020, um, like, most innovative companies. Sent that right after. Um, I also had an idea for the holidays, just because, I mean, it's, it's so hard because it's like parties are like really frowned upon but I was gonna say anyone who's over 21 reach out to White Claw any alcohol or people that are of age I don't know where you all live but like you know what I'm talking about like alcohol I know so many like content creators especially like I mean it does really work well for guys because it's just like you know it just works but um I've seen some God, I wish I some female content creators influencers whatever you want to call them um, have done brand deals with alcohol. And I feel like that'd be really great for the, for the holiday season, especially some that come out with like a holiday, like drink. Like I know, I mean, I don't drink. So like, I don't know, actually, I was going to say, I know, I don't know what drink was. Maybe it was like Smirnoff. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, but like they come out with like 4th of July, like shit, like, you know what I mean? So that's like alcohol is a good one or just any, like literally think of any food or like so, like some eggnog company like I'm sure you could do something with that you know what I mean it's like you have to think of this stuff that's like so simple like it's like simple stupid type of stuff like you never think that they'd answer but um mm-hmm. <laughs> Mackenzie I can't but um yeah that that's like my thing for the holidays like one that I want to 
reach out to his Pillsbury for cookies, mm. like holiday cookies. Someone can steal that if they want, whatever. I don't really care. Um, also, like, yeah. thinking ahead to just, like, two weeks after Christmas, like, yeah. personal development type things for January. 100%. 100%. Mm. That's also really good, Taylor. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, and you could pre-film some of that, like, kind of over these next few months to have, like, a little personal development type series drop for January, keep people motivated, that kind of thing. Can I get a little show of hands who's, like, you don't have to be committed to it, although this is on the record, but is anyone, like, thinking of doing Vlogmas? Just wondering. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay so- I kind of want to, but I'm going to have to see how school is and everything. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, like, I don't know if I'll be able to handle having, like, like uploading every day, but just it wondering. would be nice. <laughs> I'm going to do Vlogmas this year where I vlog every day, but I will upload every day. But That's what I was thinking about, too. <laughs> Mackenzie's Zoom. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, you're gone. <laughs> oh, I want to screenshot it, Mackenzie. <laughs> we yeah, need to get her new Wi-Fi. So Daisy, that was such a good uh, suggestion. Any of those, like, outdoor company, like, the flannels, they love all that stuff. Yes. Timberland is another brand. I don't know if anyone wears those anymore, but, like. Guys, do these people actually, are they going to sponsor me? Like, I I feel like that's, (laughs) I I feel like they don't think I'm cool enough. Who? People like L.L. Bean. Like, they work with, like, people with, like, 500,000 followers, not me. I'm just Mackenzie to them. Yeah, Didn't but just Kenzie just work with Ugg. Ugg, shut up. Shut up. Ikea. <laughs> well, okay. Walmart. Thank you guys for the love on that because I really, really needed that post to do well. Like, you don't understand. And, I don't. I don't because I can't hear her. <laughs> guys, what is wrong with this? <laughs> oh, my God. This is recording, too. That's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't know if anyone else has any other suggestions, but that's what I was thinking. I mean, I really like Taylor's with the self-development thing. Taylor, do you think you could, like, do you think of anything like right off the bat? Maybe maybe like a notebook company or something like that. Like yeah, like workout type things. Like um, I know I use Headspace uh, before I yep. fall asleep, so like I should probably talk to them. Um, I also just think like I kind of underestimated or overestimated. I, I forget which which one will be um, the better one to use in this context, but I, I feel like it's easier to get like to work with a brand than I thought kind of. So I feel like they kind of like not like they don't have the time to like really vet you and like make sure like you're not like I'm like a con artist, but like I don't know. I feel like they're just kind of like, oh yeah, sure, like cool, like that makes my job easier type of thing. Um, so I feel like if you reach out to people, like, I'm kind of surprised by, like, the responses. So I feel like it's all about kind of, like, just knowing who you want to work with more than, like, a lot of the people that email me, I'm like, "Eh, I'm good. Like, well, who are you? Like, it's kind of weird. Um, but I also want to, like, know how to kind of counter back if they're like, oh, yeah, we'll do this and, like, just give you free product. I kind of want to be like, no, that's not really worth my time and, like, no, thank you. Like, I, I understand, though. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like that's awkward, but it's just not worth No, it. I know what you're talking about. And I feel like, okay, I don't know if anyone else has seen, like, these, like, random viral stories that go about, like, influencers asking for free stays at hotels or whatever. And then, like, they go viral being, like, who does this person think they are thinking, like, they're going to ask for money on top of blah, blah, blah. And I, I don't know. I, I get what you're saying, Taylor. Well, every single time someone has asked me to do something and I say, oh, like I have a budget or I have a um, rate for this, I would love to talk about budget. Like almost 100% of the time, they just haven't answered me back. So I think I'm also in that space where I'm like, I need to understand because I know that I am worth much more than just a free necklace. Wait, can I say what I would say? Yeah. Okay. Hi again. Sorry. Hi. Hi, Mackenzie. All right. (laughs) Hi or dear blank, comma, enter line. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing right now, Laura? I'm I'm reading them what I would say to someone if they, if they, if I give them, I pitch them a campaign, whatever, and they say, yeah, but I'm not paying you. Okay. Okay. Hi blank. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Or yeah, thank you. Same thing. Okay, 
English. Thank you so much for thinking of me for XYZ campaign, period, whatever the campaign is. I really appreciate it, but I am not participating in unpaid campaigns at this time. There is an increase in your budget. I would be more than happy to revisit this campaign. Thank you, blank. Um, or you can say, if they wanted you to participate for less than you're willing to, you can say, like Devin was saying, like, know your worth type of thing. Hi, blank. Thank you so much for thinking of me for XYZ campaign. I really appreciate it, but I do not think I can deliver the high quality branded content this campaign deserves with the compensation offered. If there is an increase in your budget, I would be more than happy to revisit this campaign. Thank you, XYZ. Well, um, I used one of those things you gave me, Laura, from that book. You know how you sent me those pictures? Yeah, that's you literally bringing up $150 the other day, so. What happened? I talked to Brand up $150 the other day using with one my book. With my paragraph? <laughs> yes, with the book that she sent me. And I just, I literally copied and pasted it and was like, okay. And they were like, fine. And I was like, yeah. Or if, if they give you something that is under pay, you can say, hi, blank. Thank you so much for thinking of me for XYZ campaign. It sounds like a great opportunity because blank. The, the brand name would go there as one of my favorites. For the scope you requested in your email, my rate is closer to, insert number here. This is the one I used. Yeah, is this something you would be able to accommodate? If so, would you be able to, if so, would you be able to send along full de details or a contract for review? I would love to see the terms and usage before formally accepting, thank you, the person. Or, or, just trying to give you guys different ways here. Um, if they're not paying you, this is another, another thing. Hi, blank. Thank you so much for thinking of me for blank campaign. This sounds like a great opportunity because XYZ brand is one of my favorites slash I'm excited to travel on behalf of XYZ brand slash I'm excited to be introduced to the XYZ community. Since there's no monetary compensation would the brand be able to feature me on their site and or share my content on their social channels only if this is included, um, only include this part if they're not offering that. So only include the social channel saying if it's like not part of the contract. Would you, able, would you be able to send along full details or a contract for review? I would love to see the terms and usage before formally accepting. Thank you, the person. So those are just a couple, I mean, that's what I use and just, it works every time. Like I, they just, I mean, I don't know. It's because you're being spelling error in there. Just, what? Like they have the budget, like you're right, Laura. And I used to never think that like, and I realized that I've just been selling myself so Oh yeah, we had that that conversation. Yes. And I talked you out of your pants cause you were being a baby. And I literally, and I never realized how much a brand, when UGG reached out to me, I can't say this is recording anyways, but when they offered me right off the bat, I didn't even counter it because it was so much that I was like, holy cow, I've never even gotten paid close to that. Not even half of that had I ever been paid. But it made me realize that if they can afford to pay me that much, they aren't that far off from some of the other brands I work for. They have the money. They have it. And if they really want you, they will pay you the money. Also, you can because counter another ask. brand. Like if Mackenzie's like, Mackenzie reaches out to Hydro Flask. I don't know. I'm just looking at shit in my room. Mackenzie reaches out to Hydro Flask and, and they want to pay her a thousand dollars and say UGG paid her five thousand dollars. Like you can counter another brand. Like if it's in the same realm, you you could just like say what I said, but like like something along the lines of like like I I appreciate this like offer whatever. My rate is closer to blank. Um, just wanted to make you aware. Just wanted to let you know that I just did a campaign with with UGG and w which they paid me, like, just be transparent. Like, I feel like they, they just want the easiest, like, way to go. Like, if you beat around the bush, you're making their job harder. And also think about this. It's another email that you have to wait for to answer, which means your well, content's going to be delayed even more. And you have to think about their, the person that you're contacting is not the person who does the budget stuff. So they're mm -hmm. sending your email most likely to someone else. So it's like going through a third person. So that's why it's important to be straightforward because like the, and remember that like the PR person oftentimes isn't the person who makes the decision to pay you $300. Like it's someone else. 
So yeah, most times. Um, but don't get me wrong. I something I've struggled with. I don't know if anyone has any like food for thought on is when I have consistently worked with a brand for X price for you know one YouTube video, and it's like, okay, well that's great, but like that was. We, we agreed on that two months ago, which I get wasn't that long ago, but like that was 10,000 subscribers ago. So how do you then go back and say like, look, I know we just negotiated this six weeks ago, but like, hey, I'm worth this much more now. Because I would just say my rates have changed. I've really struggled with that when it's like, hey, my rates are changing every three weeks. So, hey, like, how do you, you know? I, I always feel weird. If I was in that situation, I would tell them from the beginning, this is my rate for this particular thing. Yeah. And if they came back and asked you again and say, you know, it's changed. But I think if you just say that that's your rate for that specific thing that they're asking in the moment, it might be easier to go back and tell them it, it's continuing. That's why, like, right now I'm, like, taking a deal where I'm, like, I negotiated this price in May. Like, I should be working for triple this by now. Like, which I'm yeah. fine doing it because I like the stuff. Like in my head, I'm like, some money's better than no money. Like, you know, like it's paying part of my bill. So what's like, and that's the wrong way to think too, because then you get stuck in that hole. So don't necessarily listen to what I'm saying, but I like need to just like Laura said, I need to stop being a crybaby and just like, what's the, if they've worked with you for that long, like they obviously see value in you. And yeah. also just to kind of piggyback off that, and this is, like, to look ahead, like, obviously, should have done it a couple months ago, but, like, when it, you work with a campaign earlier in the year, I recommend over-delivering. Like, if they, re if they require X amount of stories, give them double that. And I say that because when it comes to this time, like, you're going to want to work with them again, especially if it's, like, a really, like, good, like, paying company. Like, they pay you well, whatever. That's why I really need this post to do well. Like over deliver. And then when it comes time for when they're handing out money here to do the, like the campaigns, they'll be like, oh, well, Devin did like really great stories for us. And like, they were just so organic. She had such great or like, you know what I mean? Like they'll see that and, and remember you for that. Like that, that's something that I, that happened with me for Lululemon. Like I did this this, um, like, unfortunately, it couldn't really happen because, again, Mr. Roman just ruins everything. But I was supposed to, is this, like, recorded? Whatever, I don't care. I was supposed to buy a <laughs> subscriber out to New York. Oh, me, I'm, I'm subscribed, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I know, I, I have the girl, like, I told her and everything, and I surprised her, and I have all the footage and everything, but I couldn't post it because she, she couldn't come. She was supposed to come in April, but it's, like, that was a campaign I did for the holidays. And like, they, they reached out to me for that and was like, we're going to give you this budget, blah, 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 whatever. And you have to like make someone's holiday wish come true. And one of the subscribers said that they've always wanted to come to New York. And I was like, perfect. Let's make a documentary out of it. And it sadly it didn't happen, but that's what I mean. It's like, they thought of me for that based on other campaigns that I over delivered for in the yeah. beginning of the year. If that is that everyone understand what I'm saying here? Give me a nod. How your audience responds is so important. Like if your audience isn't loving it, like they think, oh, she might have done great, but like her audience just isn't like feeding it up the way they thought we thought they would. So like mine definitely frozen right now. <laughs> oh well guys, it's fine. <laughs> What I just I can't hear you, but like I just see everyone laughing at me, so I know. <laughs> Evan like is cracking me up. Nah, you're fine. I have a separate like issue, I guess, when I'm like even like initially reaching out to brands. I just get like scared of like I need to build my confidence, I guess, in myself about like posting and like staying consistent because I'm like, oh, I don't want to like feel like I have to get a video up because I'm being paid like by this brand and they're really depending on me so like I really like you know what I mean then it becomes a little bit more of like okay I can't fuck this up like I don't know if that makes sense like I guess that is just part of it but it kind of like holds me back sometimes because I'm like oh like I got you know what I mean I think it's important I feel that college to remember like 
your other commitments that are like school related and stuff like that. Like that's always hard for me is like, I don't consider that I have a life outside of YouTube. So I have other things going on. Like, yeah. Emotionally too. So I know what you mean. Yeah. I was just saying I was going to do a sponsor post on Instagram and I actually like did the whole thing and then the brand ghosted me. So that's like awesome, really cool. But um, yeah, like I sent the thing out to be approved for September 4th and they never, I don't know. They just who? never Call got back Call out. Who is it? Well, it was like through kind of like a third party thing. So oh, that's the worst. Them. Yeah. But anyway, I was like, filming it and I was like doing it and I was doing it with my sister and I literally look at her and I'm like Brandon stuff stresses me out so much like I could puke right now because like I feel like there's so much pressure to like do it like have quality content you know like if you mess it up you can't just throw it away so yeah I know I know what you're talking about Taylor <laughs> <laughs> wait Daisy I liked your story you told me on the beach about like when you did the study abroad and you left like the shoes or something wait that, what I don't was that you I don't know I don't think so. Maybe it was someone else. It was I don't the know. Crocs. Hey, you left the Crocs? Oh, yeah, the Crocs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was supposed to. So I did a thing with Crocs two years ago, and I also studied abroad two years ago. And so I, I like, took the video, and I was, like, going to edit it and do it for my social media. And then I was going to do it, like, the first week I was abroad. And then I got abroad, and the SD card was corrupted. And so I couldn't. Like, I didn't have the product with me. It was across the ocean. So I felt <laughs> so bad. But luckily, they were like, oh, it's no big deal. So. Well, that happens. Because I'd worked with them twice before, and I had to produce quality content. So they're like, okay, we know this girl isn't scamming us. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Now I feel like I'm behind and that I need to get my life in order for December. But that's really stressful. I can't even get my life in order a week from today. Uh I look at your life and I'm like, what is she doing? Can she just like tell me what to do every day? <laughs> so yeah. don't be so hard on yourself. I don't know who I want to work. I don't know what, I don't even know what, where I'm going to be in a month. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that's what's hard is like, I don't, I don't know. Will yeah. we be able to travel? Will we be visiting family? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I know. I think like when this is all over, like everything's just going to be so much like easier and then we're going to be like, wow. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's, like, unsettling right now to, like, not know what's happening constantly. And having – I feel like in the beginning of it, it was like, okay, like, you can kind of be in your pajamas all day and do nothing because it's fine. Like, but now it's, like, so many months that now there's, like, expectations and, like, people really have to, like, go back to work, go back to school. It's like, wait, what? So I feel that. I have one last thing in regards to who to reach out to. I literally just thought about this. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm going to do is look at influencers who I feel like I'm similar to or they're mm -hmm. in a space where I want to be and see who they have worked out with or worked. Why do I keep saying worked out with? Worked with in the past and see like similar brands to them or even the brand that they worked with. I know that a lot of the influencers that I follow and like, I want to be similar to they're a lot larger than me but mm -hmm. I think just getting I I think my vision is like too broad right now and I need to like focus on like something uh -huh. I don't something know. that I've been thinking about and I think about it like I've been trying to reach out to some more brands like for like upcoming months and stuff and I've been thinking about something that you actually mentioned like a couple months ago Devin and I've just been like when I reach out to them I try to say like think about it before I reach out to the brand and look at like their products and see if like there's it's something that I have an idea so, that I could use so I was going to reach out to like um like a hair technology company for like curling irons straightening irons because I was I get a lot of questions on how I like do my hair curly to straight and I was going to do it for like the holidays and that'd be a good holiday gift so that's like what my mind has kind of been going because I know a couple of months ago you were talking about brands and you were like, I'm going to go on this trip. So like, this is why, so that's kind of been my thought process. Yeah, that's really smart. I really like that. I think also like kind of not settling in a way of like, I don't know, just kind of, I've, my philosophy is kind of going to be more like, if you're not paying me what I feel like it's worth, and, like, if I don't really love it, like, it's just, 
it's not worth like my time at all. So I don't know. Someone... I'm oh, sorry, Taylor. Keep going. No, I was done. I was done. Can someone explain to me how to reach out to a company and say, I really like your stuff. Like I want to collaborate, but then when they're like, okay, choose clothes. And you're like, but wait, I don't work for free. Like, I feel like I'm always in that situation where it's like, I want the, like, I would do the, it either way, but like, I know that I need to be paid and it's like awkward when you're the person reaching out and then being like, wait, sorry, I expect you to pay me too. And I want your clothes. Like, can advice help someone? I would just say like, More? you want to, <laughs> I would just say like, I'd love to create like a sponsored whatever with you like whatever like a sponsored youtube video a sponsored instagram like whatever the content is i i would go for the route of like unfortunately i have a lot of brands um like that are interested in working with me for product exchange um and i can like add you to the list if that's all that you're interested in with this time but um like i'm focusing on as a college student like making this a uh, full-time income paying, like uh, paying my student loan yeah like I don't know kind of like maybe like not saying like okay if you don't want to like yeah pay me like we're done here kind of being like I can put you on a list like but I already have like a bunch of people that are like kind of offering that kind of thing I don't know what I was thinking I do a lot of dedicated hauls because I feel like dedicated content always does better for me like people want to click into that more than they want to click into something else and they know like hey this is going to be in this video whereas like sometimes I feel like vlogs it's like people are like oh please share your workout routine and what you eat in the day well I show those things every single day in vlogs but people don't click into the vlog because it doesn't say that so that's kind of why I like dedicated videos, but part of me is thinking maybe I should switch to, I can do a haul for you undedicated if, if it's just for clothes. Like, that's fine if it's like a three-minute clip in a video. I've thought about that. I just never want to come off as, like, unappreciative to a brand or, like, that I am on this pedestal. You know what I mean? Because I'm yeah. not, but at the same time, like, I, like, can't work I mean, you forever. Have you work your ass off, so I would, like, don't, I don't know. I, I would say. So that my butt's flat as paper, guys. That's why. <laughs> work so hard. That's why. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have something short to say because I, I worked in a sales job in college, like, for sorority shirts. And whenever I was, like, negotiating prices with the sorority, I would always ask them for their budget rather than giving a number because then it's, like, you have the ball is in your court at that moment like you can say either yeah that's good or no actually i'm worth a little bit more than that but you don't necessarily cut anything off because you could say like i need however many dollars for this and they might have a hundred less but if they give you the hundred less you maybe negotiate up rather than them just being like oh like that's way too much for us so you know and I think also if there are things that you value in your life and you would use regardless, I would accept a little bit less. That's if it's how like, I feel. Like yeah. if it's someone I genuinely, like I really would buy that with my own money. Like I was planning on getting it. Like, okay, fine. Yeah. This is also unrelated, but I just collabed with Skillshare and this isn't sponsored guys, but um, I think that you should go watch the productivity principles and tools to boost your productivity. I mentioned it in my college morning routine and so many of you guys have asked how I get all the things done and everyone keeps asking me to go on it, but I don't know how to put my thoughts into like words and this man did it like perfectly. So that's the video. I'll put the link. You called? can get it for free too if you click my link. The first thousand people. It's called Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity. I bet you can't hear me right now, so I'll type it. Um, and I just wanted to like say something about the paid brands and everything. Um, I had a company like email me and they were like, oh, like we saw your YouTube videos and would love to like send you some products for like you to review and whatever um so i just got the package like a few days ago and i'm gonna put something like i'm vlogging tomorrow so i'm just gonna try them out and say something about it but i feel like with like because i have such a small following like on youtube i'm at like 260 and instagram like a thousand so i feel like 
I can't really be like, oh, can you actually pay me to do that? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like there's just so many other people that they could go to. So it's hard for okay. me to. Sorry. No. I think in response <laughs> to that, I was thinking about this the other day. And if you think that at your number, you're putting out quality content, the only difference between the quality content that you put out now and the quality content that you put out a hundred thousand subscribers later is that you're getting to a wider audience. So like the work that you are putting in is still the exact same. And I think your influence will grow, which means you should get paid a little bit more, but you're still putting in the, the same work, I would say. That's true. So. Okay. Don't, that's not to say like, okay, I have two sides to this. Take unpa unpaid work is good. It's like interning in a case. Like I know that unpaid internships, that's a whole nother issue, but like at the same time, unpaid deals is still experience and at the end of the day experience still has value even if it is unpaid so i think that it's still beneficial to take but don't do for instance what i did on youtube and get in this rabbit hole of only thinking that you are worth product because you're not and then you get to this point where you can't get out of that because you now have this relationship and you've been doing it the same thing unpaid that people expect unpaid out of you because that's all you've ever done. So I would say, especially once you're at that 1000 mark, enough, enough. Now, like that is especially the time where you need to be like, even if it's only $50, $50 is $50. That is when you start saying, this is what for sure. Okay. You can charge beforehand. You can charge later. There's no judging. And my first paid deal on YouTube is probably like 15,000 subscribers. Like that was like six weeks ago. Okay. So I'm not like, you know, everyone works at a different like timeline with that kind of thing. But like I said, don't get so caught up that like, this is the number where now money rains out of the sky. Hi, Taylor's vlog. They anyway. couldn't hear you because I have headphones, but Mackenzie said hi. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I know there's a less than a minute I might get cut off, but I feel like that's something I really need to, to hear from Devin and Mackenzie because I feel like I get really bad imposter syndrome whenever I go to reach out to someone because I feel like I'm too small. And like, at the end of the day, 10,000 subscribers is not small in the grand scheme of things, but I feel like because I consume so much YouTube content, I just, I feel like it's so small that when I reach out to friends, I'm like, should I do this for less or should I raise my rates? Like when I was showing Taylor and Marissa my media kit, they were like, you need to be charging way more than this. And I'm like, I don't know, should I? But yeah. I've started so. charging now when someone asks, I always say $150 more than I would actually do it for because I know they're going to come down. And then I really am getting what I thought I should get. So rule yeah. of thumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so smart. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys next Monday. Uh, we'll have a little schedule and um, yeah, I'll be in touch. Okay, bye. bye. Can't wait to travel together. Yes. <laughs>